Okay, we're back at the junkyard again. We're going to be pulling out a uh, rocker panel out of the wrecked truck here. So uh, this is the first step in getting the new piece cut in. So here you go. Okay, what we did to cut this out, we just used one of those Sawzalls. I just brought a generator out, cut it out of the wrecked car. I think this is a Suburban, actually. Maybe a truck, I can't remember, but... Anyway, we'll cut that out and show you how to do all that as well. Okay, now that we got that out, we're just going to take a couple tools here. This is actually a spot weld drill bit. You get that at any hardware store. An air hammer, I'll use that to remove your panel, a ball feed hammer, a chisel you're going to need, also a marker, and we'll go ahead and try to do that. Alright, next step, take a black marker, I use the sharpie with a fine point, that way we can mark off the little holes. Those little divots are actually your old factory spot welds, that's what we're going to have to drill out, so we'll show you how to do that. Just take your center punch and get a spot hit out there so you can get it lined up like it needs to be with the uh, spot weld cutter. Now this is our spot weld cutter. Put it in a drill bit and just guide it in. The trick on this is to go slow. If you go fast and you put too much pressure, you're going to have that thing spin out on you. It's kind of annoying. So just go real slow, light pressure. Just cut your spot welds out and you're going to combine it with the air chisel and work that weld loose. So. Okay, this is your next step. This is your air chisel. Let's go ahead and put that in there and just hit it with the air hammer and it should pop it loose. I have to pry it up a little bit as well. Okay, here's kind of a close up what that drill bit looks like so you know where you buy. You can buy it any auto parts supplier. Actually, probably need to get in a specialty shop. You can get them at Harbor Freight. Um, anywhere online, you can buy them for about 15 20 bucks. So now on this one, you're going to see what it looks like when you get off balance with that rotary bit. So we'll show you how that one kind of spins out. So watch. Kind of a tough angle as you can see it slides right out so just be light on your pressure just go slow and that shouldn't happen but on you'll notice on this it happens every time <laughs> it's a tough angle just be patient now with your air chisel or you can just use a regular hammer and chisel whatever you have and you'll notice that just breaks right loose and slides right out once you get the top and bottom spot welds cut out. Now this next clip we're gonna cut off the edges so that we can kind of line it up in place. We're gonna cut a little little long. It's a good idea to do that. Then we'll make sure you have enough left over so you don't undercut it. It's really hard to weld and undercut, so we just cut those off and we'll go fit it on the truck. All right, now we got that cut off. We're gonna go ahead and fit it on the truck, see what she looks like. And we'll still have a little bit extra left over. It's a good idea. And then we'll show you on our next video how to cut out the factory piece. So stand by.